Okay guys, what's going on? We're here at Bear Creek, Alabama at the, uh, excuse me, at the, the campground and I'm over here at the Spillway which I must add is really hard to get to. The Spillway is hard to get, to get to. I had to do a lot of, a lot of rock climbing. It's like a mini locking dam. The dam, the dam is huge, it's big but it's, it's a small dam by standards of locks and dams and stuff that I've been to. But this is the spillway. And we're gonna go with the um, with the night crawler. And freshly freshly caught shed that I caught this morning at the Tennessee Tom Bigby at like 8.30 in the morning, so it's still good, and I kept it cold. We're gonna pitch out in here and, and see what we can come up with. I have no idea what's in here. I, I haven't seen any fish swimming. But I'm pretty sure there's something in here. Unfortunately, uh, because of uncontrollable delays, it's like 12, 19 in the afternoon. But don't worry, I got plenty of batteries. Everything should be good. Uh, I brought my umbrella this time. Yes, Lord. So we're gonna stay out of the sun. And we're gonna see what we can come up with. Let's get in the water. Okay, I don't have a lot of real, real heavy weight on here. I didn't figure I'd need it because um, those little split shots, but the way the current's boiling and moving, they'll weigh it down enough to where it won't get hung, I hope. I can't see the bottom sun. I think it's gonna be real rocky. I should be able to smell something. We just got to give it a little time. I mean, there may not be anything in here but guards. I don't know. I ain't seen any guards. I ain't seen anything. But uh, we're going to wait around. We're going to do some fishing. Thank you for going fishing with me. Okay, something's hitting the shed on the white pole. Got a hit on my night crawler. There's definitely fish in here. Well, there's something in here. Let's hope it's not a turtle on either pole. That's a pretty big piece of shad that I put out there. I did that because I, I'm trying to get something, something uh, 
decent size, big, pretty big over here in the spillway. Um, some just pulling on that shell. Um, honestly, the truth is, bigger the bait, the bigger the fish. It may not be a giant fish, but it can be a real good one. Especially with all this fresh water running in with all this oxygen. Fish are going to be stronger. They got a food supply, just like any other dam. You got to stay away uh, little animals and dead stuff and all that type of deal. You just pull, pull them in and slip down through the spillway, and the fish eat them. You know, that, uh, a lot of fish sit here and wait, especially big fish like big catfish, big gars. I hope that scent of that shad is going to be enough to pull something big that's laying down in those rocks that I can't see. Uh, draw it out and get it to do it with the Get something big on the camera. One little channel cat. You have to be super careful with these guys because they got like these bars when they're small. And you better believe they can stab you with them. And they will get infected. They're not poison, but they they'll, they'll get you uh get you good and infected. That's a beautiful little fella. Let's see if we can get another one. That night crawler paid off. Made to put two night crawlers on the hook. Let's get him back in the water. I'm gonna double the night crawlers up. So. They're dead for the catfish here. I don't know what those are that I'm trying to catch right there, but I hope the catfish here, they gotta be at least 20 pounds, and that's what we want. Gonna wait a second. Like that circle hook's about to pay off. Okay, what's going on folks? Um, at, from over at the Spillway, uh, I found out what was biting after I caught the little catfish. It was like some small turtles. And those really big fish that was like 25 pounds or 30 pounds, they uh, wound up being carp. They, they wound up coming to the surface where I could see them real good. And they were really, really big carp. So I didn't have any carp bait. 
you know, any, any kind of corn or bread, anything like that. So uh, I left that alone, and, and I actually caught a small bass um, just casting out um, with a rooster tail. So what we're going to do is I got my 15-foot ready. We're going to uh, throw out here uh, in, in this part. We're at the campground, and it is really, it looks like it's really dark. It's dark water out there, so I'm betting it's deep, and there's a little channel right there. Uh, we, I'm thinking it's bass that busting the water out here. And I'm going to do some bass casting and just different things to see what I can catch while the, while the other two catfish poles are sitting out here. I got some really big pieces of shad, so we're going to throw them out and let them sit and see what happens. Let's get in the water. Maybe we'll get uh, something really big. Bear Creek was a great idea. <laughs> Bear Creek was a great idea. It's a nice catfish. Nice uh, channel cat. Okay, guys. <laughs> I guess my pole holder looks really crude. Well, it is. Well, that's what just caught that that catfish. I'm sorry I couldn't get it on camera when he when he hit. But my camera has just been overheating. I mean, it's really been been hectic hectic uh, it hit like uh, like six minutes ago like six six fifty four something like that so this is broad daylight fishing with big pieces of shad all right we're back in the water let's do this hey what's going on guys thanks for going fishing with me uh, this is going to be my bass testing lure part of this video uh, I got uh, a couple lures literally a couple two lures I want to test and see if they work like always but before I do anything else I want to apologize to the uh, to the Ozark Trail company In my last two videos I mentioned the company and that was my first time ever looking at anything even noticing company names but since I started using bass lures it's a lot of a lot of names to a lot of companies and Ozark Trail I called it Ozark Tail because I just kinda glanced at the lure when I bought it in Walmart I'm gonna adjust my camera right here. ok 
Okay, guys. Um, I and I just kind of glanced at it, and it's Ozark Trail instead of Tail. So I didn't mean any harm. The last lures I tried of yours, they worked. I mean, the, the lure I tried worked worked really good. Caught a, caught a couple of fish. Caught a fish. You know, caught a bass. Um, so now we got that out the way. And I'm gonna be trying another one of their lures, and they got some good reels. Try their products. I like it. Um, first lure. I want Okay guys, I got one more big lure that I bought uh, this morning, or early this morning. This is the Grappler Shad, uh, Cotton Ordell, and I was saying the name wrong. I apologize, I'm not making fun of the company. This company's good. I've caught some fish with their bait. Okay, it's the Grappler Shad Fancy. This has got the big lip on it, so it's a, it's a crank bait, it dives. I got the weight on it for extra uh, castability, little split shot. On the ugly stick, if you just want, want to cast far, you know, have the little 12 pound line or whatever this is, probably about 12 pound line. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this is that cotton or there. Got him. Got him. This one's right. No, I don't know if it's a, a, a white bass or a large one now. The biggest one yet. Oh, yeah. That uh, that grappler minnow by Cotton Ordale. What I can tell is just like the live bait guys. Bigger lures take longer to get a get a fish, but they're gonna be a bigger fish. <laughs> Hook scheme is incredible. Awesome. Bass are on out there and they're leaning on that drop off out there. Like I said, guys, 
Got him. This lure is a good lure. If I get another knife. White bass. That's back to back, two bass. Uh, the grappler lure is good lure. Ow! These white bass, they don't play. Their fins are real sharp. Okay, it's a good thing you fell off. Now I can get him. And he wasn't even as big as that large mouth. He was pulling just like it. About yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got a little dirty. It's another white bass off of that that uh cotton ordeal grappler grappler shad, the fancy. Let's get him back in the water. You go and get five or six pounds. What I'm seeing is a lot bigger fish over there on that drop off out there. Like 25 foot water. Got him! Good spot out there. Cotton or deal, y'all going on, man. Fell off. We got him in. Three, three bass back to back. Large mouth, nice large mouth. That's what I'm talking about. You guys want Too little? Okay. Let's get him back in the water and let him get 10 pounds. One of them legal. One of them legal. Right. One of them. Gotcha. I'm like y'all. I'm used to catching catfish all the time. Okay, that's three bass back to back. Okay, this is a good one. Something. This lure's got a new status with me anyway. Yeah. White bass. Just for the record, these white bass pull about a size and a half bigger than what they really are. They pull hard in a, a large mouth of the same size. I guess because they got that, that striper blood in them. <clears throat> Man, I lost Ken. I think this is like it's four or five, like five fish off of this lure. This lure has got its props. I'm gonna lay this fish down, keep get cut and stuck and all that cool stuff. Cotton O'Dell. <clears throat> Crap, my fingers so sore, guys, from the hooks last night. <clears throat> uh, Cotton O'Dell, you guys got your props. White bass, nice white bass. Let's get him back in the water.
Then they get seven, eight pounds like the other ones. Okay guys, this is the first big lure that I've, that I've used that uh that has got down like this. Two or three dollars at Walmart. Go check it out. Like 224, something like that. 224, 25. Okay guys, I had a great time fishing with you. Uh, looks like the, the Cotton Ordell Grappler Minnow. It's like it, it took the cake. That's a really good lure. Um, go out and try it. Like I said, it was like, man, $2.24 or something like that. It wasn't much. But those, those uh, large mouths and, and white bass were really, really striking it. So, um, have fun. Keep going fishing. Be safe. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.